Thing in. <laughs> oh my god, who would be? <laughs> so right. yeah, yeah. Um, Senji actually was telling me earlier that he doesn't like fighting um, against Robis Pac-Man because it uses up too much brain energy. Okay. And okay. so, what do you do? You go. <laughs> so what do you do? You go Game and Watch. Right? Easy fix, right? Mm -hmm. Just play a character that requires much less brain energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look. And um, yeah, and the thing is that Game and Watch is a character that can combo heavies pretty efficiently, right? Mm -hmm. So you know, one falling nair can net you a quick forty percent at most percents, and this is one of the few characters that legitimately keeps getting confirms until like one fifty just right. because of his upbeat. Yeah. So we'll see. So far. Sinji is trying to hit with some of these nares, but Dill's uh, really good about uh, not <laughs> getting hit by them. This is ironically kind of dangerous, though. Mm -hmm. what the heck? She's in like a really bad spot, but also only at 50% when it started. Yeah, okay. and yeah, Game & Watch is one of those characters that can actually uh, go out there and contest Rob in the air. Rob usually right. just have to deal with that in his character, so another... Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, talk about brain energy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the weight on that too, that takes like a level of confidence that I'm uncomfortable with, but good yeah. for Sinji. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and you see Sinji being so aggressive off stage, and um, yeah, and then Dill's gonna have to adapt. So Dill's a player, she like she's very rigid in her playstyle, where she has a flow chart that's very efficient. Right. But um, yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna see how she's gonna adapt to Sinji playing so aggressive. Yeah, it's, it's hard to sort of like stick to the guns of being, a, you know, like a, a by the numbers player when someone puts you uh, in an awkward position such as Sinji Game and Watch, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah, and, espe and especially having so much history fighting against each other. Right, right. Um, and Sinji's like a very passive player, and right now he is just pressing every single button imaginable. <laughs> what an anticlimactic way to end that stock. Just one big duff from Rob. <laughs> the forward tilt is so good. Getting duffed by a toy who <laughs> could, couldn't be me. No. Oh. All right, but talk about, <laughs> talk about some combos, though. The neutral air and the up air. Playing some neutral right here. And uh, oh, the neutral air is going to end up trading. And uh, Sinji's doing a pretty good job of just like holding down center stage. Yeah, and, and the thing is, oh, Game yikes. and Watch. Even though Game Watch is light, can be a character that's kind of hard to combo. Right. Um, because of his up B, can break out of a lot of combos early. So that's going to be an interesting thing to watch. Like, how how long can some of these combos that Dill throws out, like, how long can she keep that going? All right, trying to take the high route. The up air is going to add some damage, but I have never seen that move kill unless someone jumps out of it. So I think you could just kind of take those for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's similar to Mega Man up air. Right. Where, like, a, he won't really kill you to, like, extremely high percentage. Uh oh, the avatar state. Yeah, and, and that was actually really good, right? Because you see Dill throwing out down tilts like that, and you can throw out the down smash and it'll nick it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Down air is also good. Yeah. <laughs> Talked about Sinji off stage the whole time, but fortunately, Sinji was out off the stage for just a second too long. She found a very nice down air. Yeah, and, and it's really risky, right? A lot of players don't even opt to try to edge guard and watch up because right. sometimes you get clipped and you get put in worse scenarios than you already, have, than you already were. So. But good stuff. So I don't know. It's kind of a big change of pace here, honestly. Now we're seeing Dill with the lead. Sinji trying to fight back, but I don't know. Dill's, like I said, real good at playing by the numbers. Yeah, and, and we're going to see like how Sinji reacts to oh. playing at a deficit as Game & Watch. <laughs> well, we, yeah. We're not going to find yeah, out. Yeah, wait, wait, can we, can we um... Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's... Uh... <laughs> okay, we're, we're going gonna, to... Let's, 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 let's enhance this, right? Let's, let's, let's look at this. Okay, right? Okay. Now, now this is where... Stop. Okay. Okay. Right here? Yep. That's B. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that's... That, yeah, that, that was... This zone. Yeah, 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 that's BG's. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and the thing about that is, it's like, that can be a frustrating move to DI, because um, yeah, right you have to SDI, yeah, yeah. yeah, you have to SDI in one direction and hold in the other, right? On right, the last right, hit. exactly. It is pretty. It's pretty tough. That's the classic from Smash Four, though. You know, you have to, you know, DI the throw one way, the first hit a different way, yeah. and then the last hit a, a, like a third way. It's it's tough. A lot of people aren't. Firstly, don't know, and then secondly, not ready for it. But yeah, it's tough. And um, yeah, and now and now Cindy is sticking with Game and Watch, right? Okay. So he's definitely committed to this counter pick. And you know we're gonna have to see how Sinji plays when he's not in advance and not not having a lead. Right. Because right. Sinji looked pretty strong when he had a lead, but like once he was at a deficit, it kind of just snowballed from there. So. Exactly. But 
this is a good situation for the Sinji fans. Unfortunately, it was a very f short lived situation. Bill made it right back to stage, and now she's about to uh, do something very mean to Sinji, I'd mm -hmm. imagine. Yeah, just trying to put Game, game Watch to the ledge. Trying to get a two frame, just keep pressure on Game Watch. Yeah. Um, but man, that upbeat. It's like one of the craziest combo breakers in the game. Probably the best one. I'd say so, yeah. And like, this situation in particular is so good too. You roll on versus Rob, and then normally he's able to go and punish, but if you have the Game Watch up B, he's not. So. And, and and just 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 like we were saying, that up B traded with Rob up there, and there was no combo to be had. Yep. <laughs> All right. Ooh, nice dash tag. Let's see what we can get here. Dill's just so smart. She's been going like very, very high. Like we talked about those up airs are gonna take another 150 percent before they kill might as well just yeah take those instead of a back air yeah because cindy's already sh already showed that he's willing to go down there and be very aggressive but you don't want to deal with that right exactly i'll try to throw the chair but rob's just so good at boxing in addition to having great projectiles yeah and that, and that down air and that down air is, is pretty crazy also because yep. when game watch throws out that down air he pauses in the air for a little bit so it with it with punish uh rob's down in that situation <laughs> Oh no, not the grab. <laughs> Why is that a combo? Yeah, and that doesn't stop comboing. All right, but the up air <laughs> is going to even it up for Dill. She's still looking uh, pretty good, 41%, so it's not too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, and Cindy's keeping up this pressure. Um, yeah, and that forward air, you can hit the forward air. A lot of people don't realize that. Right, right. It's actually a very bad move if you're able to hit it. It just kind of does nothing. He mm -hmm. sits there for a while. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Cindy. Uh, I like that B. Yeah, Cindy's getting very aggressive. And like and Cindy's going the route, it's like any damage is good damage. Right, right. So if so even if Dill is going high and she knows she's not gonna take the stock, it's still good damage on Cindy's part. Alright, some good pressure at the ledge. Roll on this time getting covered with the laser. Somehow still trades. He <laughs> rolled on an upbeat, and this is exactly why Cindy wanted to pick game and watch. Yep. Less brain use less brain power usage, but it's working out for him. Okay. Uh, the up air almost worked too. And the funny thing is too, Cindy has literally rolled on upbeat like a couple of times now, and it's never been bad. That, um, however, and, pretty bad. Um, this is, and we tech those, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and um, but good, good aggressive option by Dill, right? Just, just doing something to keep Game and Watch off of her. Right, right. And uh, you know, trying to force Sinji to use some of that mental energy mm -hmm. he so desperately wanted to hold on to. Yeah, and yeah, and right now, you Dill playing the keep away game is is very smart on her part. Right. Game right. Watch, even though Game Watch is a good character, can be pretty aggressive. He can have some trouble getting, especially against a character like Rob, where her, Rob's limbs are like pretty, pretty long. Outrained his game watch by a pretty significant mark. And it's also like a player thing too. It's, it's kind of difficult for Sinji in that situation too. What is going on? He, he almost lost his stop. Man, almost. Okay, he's down smashing. He's down smashing. He's, he's trying to read a forward tilt with punish right now. Okay, that's just gonna be the up B to get out of that situation. Another one. Wow. Yeah, this is. Yeah, and it's yeah, and, no, and it's very similar to uh, Pac-Man throwing out Hydrant, just instead of going down, so right. just going up and uh, evading the the nonsense. All right, but Chair's gonna do it. One stock apiece. This is how highlights start right here. Oh, oh okay. no! Well, okay. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately did the up smash, yep. and I, I'm not gonna lie, that was that was pretty funny on Dill's part because she probably knew that by the time the rotor arm ended. That she was still gonna be in, uh, still have invincibility. Right, right. So until you went for that grab, the only thing that was going through my mind was like, oh my god, grab, grab nine. That's actually like, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say that's exactly what I was expecting, right? But like, if you look at it, it's like down to like a couple of frames too. Yeah. Like it ends like oh right there, god, right? Literally. The grab was like, yeah, thank you, right there. And then we're talking like four frames. One, two. Oh yeah, my like, god, that's that's <laughs> disgusting. Insane. That's disgusting. Rob's yep. like, yep. <laughs> the, 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 wait, 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 no, no, go, go. <laughs> wait, wait, can we? Okay, go back. We need, we need to look at that shoulder shimmy. I, I'm saying, yeah. Look how excited look. he was. He said, ooh, ooh. <laughs> that, that's and the grab animation too. A lot. Like he, I never seen him grab. He's so enthusiastic. And uh, yeah. yeah, that's what, that's that on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, but uh, print no, that was pretty smart on, on Dill's part. It was almost, it was almost a bait, right? Yes, because definitely, definitely. yeah, yeah, just throwing out a, a really aggressive hitbox like that, and very easy move to punish, right? And you could get, you could punish Rob really hard, but she was just like, yeah, immense ability, you're gonna grab, and um, you know, there you go, got got the punish, yeah. and uh, got a real good punish for a whiff grab, and that's uh, a grab. Yeah, and that, and that, yeah, and it was two zero. Yep. 